Hey YouTubers, this is Mark. I got uh, my 2007 BMW uh, 335i. It's a E92. Picked this car up in Germany when I was stationed over there. Got uh, 116,000 miles on it, or just a little bit more than that, and it's developed a weird problem, and I wanted to share with you a solution. So, uh, periodically, and, and this is completely intermittent, you're driving along, and the instrument cluster, otherwise known as the combi module, will completely blank out. And then over here on this display, it will say, electrical system malfunction, continue driving not possible. So it, it does it more often and more frequently if the car sits out in the hot sun all day long. Um, but if the car's you know tucked away in the garage and cooled off, you might drive it two or three days and it won't malfunction at all. So anyway, I'm trying to capture the glitch. Oh, there it goes right there. That was perfect timing. So that's what it's that's the you know your, your gauges go dead, the tachometer goes dead, everything goes dead in the combi module, and then that's what you get over there on the uh, what is it nav display. Um, so. What uh, I found is a solution, because there's a lot of these combi modules uh, available on eBay, but I called my independent BMW guy, see, and there it goes, it comes right back up. So it's kind of annoying, just a little bit. But anyway, uh, back to the eBay thing. If you go to eBay, you can find these combi modules. Just call your BMW dealer, give them your VIN number, get the part number for your combi module. Go to eBay, you know, Get a, a combi module that's got the same part number and have it shipped to Castle Performance in York, Pennsylvania. Uh, you can go to Castle Performance. It's K-A-S-S-E-L, I believe, uh, performance.com on, on, in York, Pennsylvania. Just go to that website, uh, send them an email, message request, say, hey, you know, I got a module. And what they'll do is they'll program the module, the used module, in such a way that independent dealers don't have the tools for this and neither does the dealer. They'll sell you a new module, it's a thousand dollars for a new combi module. But they will get you, uh, essentially the Castle Performance will reprogram the module to make the car think it's a brand new module. It's a virgin, it's new. And so when you plug it into your car, the combi module will go looking to other some other module, I'm not sure which one, if it's a DME or whatever, to look at the vehicle mileage and then it will write the mileage to the new combi module so it's you know that you won't get that nasty stupid little tamper dot so anyway um, my module I, I bought one on eBay it's on the way back to me and we'll see what um, if it works if this was my solution uh, to my glitch here so stay tuned for more all right, so now I've got the uh, used cluster that was programmed by Castle Performance. And so there's the marks from the eBay seller. Can't remember the name. I'll post that in the comments on the name of the eBay seller. But this gauge cluster is in really good shape. This needs a little bit of touch up on the plastic. You can see there's some light scratches in there. And what I found is this stuff from the chemical guys it's an optical grade polish, just use a microfiber and it will take the scratches. Um, not all of them, but you know, it depends if they're deep into the plastic. But it'll, it'll clean this up nicely and then we're going to put it in the car and make sure that the mileage that appears on the new cluster is the same as on the current cluster. All right, so now we've got a couple of coats of that uh, Chemical Guys polish on there. There's light scratches in it, but you know. I think this came out of a 2008 for that many miles, uh, 111,000 miles. It uh, looks pretty good. So we're going to take the old one out and put this one in. All right, so we're in the car. This is the original cluster, the one that's been blanking out on me. 116,788. I don't know what will happen with the trip odometer, but uh, we're going to pull this one out, put the new one in, and make sure the mileage matches. All right, so now I've got my uh, Foxwell scanner, my i75TS connected to the car, and I'm going to scan all the modules and clear all the faults out before I put the new combi module in. 
Okay, this is the scan from the car. The mileage is actually in kilometers. So we're going to scroll through here and I'm going to show you what's in memory. So you got uh, two faults in the uh, DME, you got uh, two faults in stability control, and then you've got one fault in the uh, air conditioning module, and then seven in the combi. So if you just go through, you'll see this particular fault. It says message status intermittent panel faulty receiver DME transmitter combi. And then the next one, you have another one that says, hey, I can't talk to the combi module. Instrument cluster interface. So that's uh, the stability control program. And the air conditioning system, hey, I can't see the combi module. And then the combi module has fault <laughs> crazy. So transmitter, transmitter, instrument panel, transmitter, footwell module, can't talk to the footwell module. And uh, instrument cluster message communications fault. So that matches up with the... Uh, uh, the, the com fault that I was getting on my um, access port from Cobb. So anyway, I'm going to clear all these faults out and see. Uh, hopefully the new cluster will fix all these problems. All right, so now I've gone through and erased all the codes and rescanned and everything's cleared out. So now we're going to pull the common module out and replace it. Okay, now I have the, uh, the new module in. And this one says 116.782, the old one said 116.788, but uh, if you'll notice between the odometer and the trip odometer, there's no tamper dot. So at least the car recognizes that uh, it's got the right VIN number and it matches this car, but it is six miles off. Not a big deal, but uh, well, and I did get over on the iDrive display, I got a transmission malfunction, so I think that was this cluster came out of a car with an automatic transmission. So not sure if that's going to be a problem long term or not, but I'll talk to Castle Performance and I'm sure they'll have an answer. So this is the report from the scan tool on the car after I installed the new combi module. There's only one fault in the combi now. It says message incorrect, status emergency call, receiver, combi transmitter, CBX, E call. So emergency calling. So anyway, um, that particular fault when I got in the car today disappeared. So I talked to uh, Jim over at uh, Castle Performance and evidently once the car powers down and powers back up and Jim correct me if I'm wrong on this and the, uh, the, the modules start talking to each other and the, the transmission fault you know, because this car, this combi module came out of a car with a automatic transmission, that fault went away too. So right now there are no faults in the computer except, you know, the two AAF one that's, you know, 2007, 335. They all, they all have that code even when the car runs good. Well, at least mine, mine's had it and it never had a problem with it. Just the code keeps popping up. So uh, anyway, now the test. We're going to, the car's been sitting in the sun all day long. It's heat soaked, so we're going to go start it up and see if I get that glitch back or if we're good to go. Okay, so we're driving around. We've got about uh, 10 miles on the car after a nice uh, day sitting in the sun to get everything nice and warm, and everything's working fine with the new cluster. So no faults in memory, and we have, I don't have any. When the old cluster would wig out, all of the maintenance status indicators would turn amber. They'd go from green to yellow, and then you couldn't, couldn't see uh, what's going on. There was some communications fault with the old module. So not uh, this is not necessarily going to fix your particular problem, but if you, you know, just putting this out there so... If you do have a combi module problem, you can you can scan it with your computer, especially if it's intermittent like this one. Occasionally, you know, you know, it'd work fine and wig out for 20 seconds and come right back. So those particular problems are very difficult to find. And if you've got a good scan tool, you can scan that module or scan all the modules and see if the combi is reporting a fault on itself. In my case, 
all of the modules like uh, the air conditioning module and the stability control and the engine computer were all reporting that they couldn't talk to the combi and then the combi had you know seven faults in it saying hey I'm I'm freaked out here so uh, I, I know uh, ideally you'd, you'd put a lab scope on it and you'd want to see the data packets drop out while you're driving but when the problem is intermittent it's very difficult to capture the glitch because it would only happen occasionally and only happen for 20 seconds and come back on so even if you did have a lab scope and you're looking at the the data packets on the can high and can low bus it's you, you know you got to catch it to see it and then if you did catch it and then in this case you'd have to pull the combi module out disconnect it and see if that problem goes away uh, so you're driving around the car with no speedometer no tachometer no gauges and so um Anyway, I, I took a, I rolled the dice on this one. Got a combi module on eBay. It was 50 bucks. Uh, programming and shipping was another 195. So that fixed the problem. And we'll see how long this holds up. This particular module. So. So lastly, I want a big uh, hat tip to the folks at uh, to Jim at Castle Performance, and also uh, for ScannerDanner.com and and Paul Danner and teaching folks how to use a breakout box and a lab scope to look at uh, you know can high and can low uh, circuits and data packets so that was helpful in, in my education and learning how to troubleshoot this type of com problem but uh, in this case yeah okay I was a parts changer <laughs> I threw a combi module at it but uh, it just logically if you looked at the, at the faults in the computer there were so many combi faults that uh, it, it seemed like a logical conclusion and, and hopefully this is a long-term fix.